forecast now with this live look over downtown Detroit. Nice little clouds in the sky there. We're tracking some heavy rain though moving through Metro Detroit. Sun made it back in time for the evening. Yeah. Yeah, but some problem areas out there, so we're going to send it to you, Mike. Yeah, true definition of feast or famine. I mean, what we were looking at was pretty good. That looked lots of sunshine out there for downtown Detroit, but we've had some issues. This is in northeastern Oakland County from Lake Orion to Rochester Hills, extending as far south as Troy. Aerial flood advisory stays in effect until 7.30 p.m., and that's because they picked up rainfall in excess of six. Some radar estimates showed eight inches of rain. Still waiting to get some type of ground truth to this, but either way, notice the orange bullseye we have here. On the very fringe of it, two inches of rain at the top around three and a half, but right in the middle near Lake Orion, picked up around six to eight inches of rainfall estimated by the radar, and pretty close to two and a half to three around Rochester Hills. Getting reports of, of some flooding on the roadways, even some cars that have stalled out based on the images I'm seeing on social media. I did retweet that on Twitter. And here's the thing. We have more showers starting to flare up pretty close to this same vicinity. This is down towards Pontiac right now. Here's Independence, Rochester Hills, as we were mentioning. So we'll continue to see these showers and storms flare up. This is the problem. There's an upper level area of low pressure. It is parked here. It's not moving. Keeps the atmosphere in a constant state of lift, and you'll see that lift in action and that's why the second it stops raining, it seems like another random shower seems to come right back. And that's going to happen once again later this evening. So we have showers and storms around Pontiac, but you're getting some sunshine if you're in Ann Arbor. So now you know the source of this inconsistent weather that we're experiencing. This will be the pattern for the rest of this evening too. So current conditions showing 75 degrees in Detroit and dew points at 66. So the humidity is there. So over the next few hours for the football games this evening, uh, notice the numbers are going to be in the 60s. Showers and storms will be in the area. They're not going to impact all of the games, but a couple of them could be impacted by the rain and also some lightning could be in the area too, which could delay or call it. So we'll keep an eye on that. 60 degrees in Lapeer for tonight's low, 63 over in Port Huron. Detroit, Windsor, you'll be around 61 degrees. For your day tomorrow, we kick the weekend off with some showers still in play. Once we hit the afternoon, we'll get some peaks of sunshine, going with a warmer temperature too, 76 on Saturday. And I'm thinking on Sunday, even though there's a slight chance of seeing some rain once again, we'll still have temperatures climbing back to the 70s. So we're going and trending above average in that seven day forecast. Weekend stays warm. Check out Monday, 80 degrees on Monday. We'll be mostly cloudy with just a few showers around and we'll do it again on Tuesday. But that is a definite warm uh, August or October Freudian slip uh, for the next <laughs> seven days. Coming up, we'll talk about when the temperatures cool in just a bit. Well, 80s will get you thinking, August. 